So I'm inside of Tesco's with dry cleaning, shoe repairs, watch repairs, photo IDs. It's quite lonely when you're working by yourself, so you have to have that banter with the customers, you know. The start of this journey, uh, I, I, unfortunately, I was around the wrong type of people and um, got myself into a bit of a problem because I went to prison um, for armed robbery. I was a driver in the offence and I just had a newborn baby. My baby was two months old and I had a six-year-old daughter and just gone like that over a bit of stupidity. Um, you know, all the prospects of getting a job when I'm coming out of there, it's just all going. I, I used to work before, I used to work in a bank. I hadn't worked for a little while because I was pregnant, had my, my little boy. And what would I do after I came out of prison? I've now got an armed robbery offence, which doesn't look pretty. If I was an employer, it would, I, I wouldn't think that was you know, a good, a good thing to give somebody a job who's an armed robber. I tried to occupy my time while I was in the prison. I used our education system. Um, you know, it's, it's quite daunting being in there. I know that I did something wrong and I had to be punished, but it does, you know, knock your confidence down a lot. I wanted to go to college and finish the hair and beauty course that had started within the prison, but you can't finish because they can only go to a certain level. At which time, Timpsons, I was told, are coming into the prison to interview. I'd never heard of Timpsons, to be honest. I, I've never cut a key. So I thought I'd go along to the interview anyway. I've got nothing to lose, I might as well go. Just a normal interview like you would have in any work environment, except what was really different for us and what um, relaxed me a little bit and um, let me be able to speak freely was the fact, the dreaded question of have you been to prison, what have you been to prison for? They didn't need to ask us that because they were in the prison. There was a lot of girls that went for them. Two of us got picked, one of which was me. Um, I was so happy. I was at a stage in my sentence where I knew I was going to come out within the next year, year and a half. What am I going to do? I've been given this opportunity now. Um, that could be an opportunity of a lifetime. I don't want to go back into prison. I didn't want to be one of those people I saw coming in and out. I wanted to do right by my kids and my family and myself because that's who I'd hurt the most out of the, the crime that I did. And probably the lady that was involved in our crime as well, you know, I don't know how her life has been since then. I got the job and I was going to leave the prison every day at six o'clock cut keys and come back into prison, which is quite ironic really, that I was leaving the prison to cut keys. Um, I passed all my levels, one, ones within 12 weeks, so that, that is what they aim for in Timpsons. Um, so I was really pleased and when I left the prison, obviously I had to go to probation. Timpsons know that you have to go to probation and it's not a problem, it's not, I don't feel like, oh my goodness, I should be at work. They know how the system works. I'm not going to probation anymore, it's finished, all my sentence is finished, my probation is finished and I'm still at Timpsons um, and they've been really supportive and I think without a job it would have been really hard for me to fit back into society and not go back to the crowd that I'd been around to try and make money. But everybody's been fine with me and their attitude towards me being of me being in prison. However, when I did first get the job, I called my friend outside and told her all about it, how, how great it was and everything. And she was a bit annoyed with me because she says, I can't get a job and I'm outside and you're in prison supposed to be doing a sentence and you're working and I can't get a job. So there are people that are going to think well, like that. However, You've got that opportunity as well. You could approach the company, and, you know. Timpsons don't have to employ from prison, but I think James has spotted a section um, of people that aren't even looked at um, because they are still in prison. They are still serving a sentence. And so ordinarily, nobody would look at you. It's nice belonging to something again. And and nice being able to fit in and not nice to work and show 
show the kids that it doesn't have to be like this. You know, sometimes we make mistakes. I've made that mistake, I've learned by it, and I've been given an, an, an opportunity and I've taken it and I feel that I'm doing really well and I'm not going to look back. And I just hope that other people do do, other companies, small or big, you know, it, it will make a difference in the end if we all pull together. It will make a difference.